Now, from the Three Rivers Casino Resort Sports Desk, KZI 9 Sports with Brett Taylor. What a return to the big stage for Oregon women's basketball Sunday night. An opportunity to stamp Ducks basketball back on the map with number 12 Baylor in Eugene, Oregon. The Ducks journey over the last couple of years, much like the Star Wars original trilogy, going from a new hope with Sabrina Ionescu to the nation striking back, and now hopefully the return of the Ducks on a national scale. The lights shining their brightest in this one. A new generation taking center stage with the Oregon faithful hoping for the return of what the program used to be. First quarter, Deja Kelly bringing that faith to life. Beautiful move and shot. Ducks take the early lead. Moments later, Payne Scott pick and roll with Amina Muhammad. Perfectly executed by the Ducks. And Oregon's on a 6-0 run looking to add more. Kelly recovers the loose ball. Kick out to Alexis Whitfield, corner three. Oregon up by one at the end of the corner. Second round incoming, Baylor biting back. Sarah Andrews guilty from range as she sinks the three. Seconds later, Yaya Felder around the world to bug little Page. Bears take their first lead of the night, and that's when Alexis Whitfield had had enough. Kelly to Whitfield in transition, quick jumper, you bet. Moments later, Whitfield one and one. Using the speed to her advantage and the beautiful touch, Whitfield drops nine in the second quarter. The upset bells are starting to ring inside Matthew Knight Arena. Ducks up by eight at the half. Third quarter, Kelly building off the momentum left by Whitfield. Take Baylor for a ride to the jump shot town. Another near triple double for the Oregon transfer. And when it was the transfers getting the action, it was the transfers getting the action. Aliza Mavias around the bend. Now it's to Whitfield. The bend starting to get going now. Nani Falatea, bang. Ducks up by 14 with one quarter to go. The madness alive and well in November, but Baylor not out of the woods just yet. That's Andrews corner pocket pass to Jada Walker, buries it. Bears cut the lead to three, and then moments later, it's Andrews taking the jump shot. Baylor ties it up at 72 all. Winding minutes, Walker no dice in the labor. Aronet Von Lee, the Westland native, puts Baylor back on top. Ducks needing an answer. Who do you call? Kelly. Splitting the defense up and in. We're tied at 74, folks, and I smell a game winner. Mavias back inside. Kiss off the glass. It's in. Aliza Mavias. Are you kidding me? Ducks retake the lead with only a few seconds left. The Duck dancing to the tunes of the upset bells. Time winding down. Baylor with a hope and a prayer. One shot to retake the lead. Off the rim. Rebound Kelly. Timeout Ducks. Oregon just moments away from its first top 25 win over an opponent in nearly two years. Kelly wasting the clock. Baylor refusing to foul. And that's ball game, folks. The Oregon Ducks take down number 12 Baylor. First top 25 win since February 2023. First win over Baylor in program history. Oregon's women's basketball is back. The Ducks stun Baylor at home to improve to 3-0 to kick off the new era of Oregon women's basketball. Uh, we won tonight. I uh, think, you know, we got a long way to go before we can say that. But uh, to get there, you have to have big wins like this. So, um, yeah, and what a great crowd. I mean, they were really into it. Um, you know, late in that game, there were times when that sound had some feel to it, and that was pretty neat. We showed a lot of pride and fight, you know, and, and that's something that a lot of teams you can just lay down and just let it roll over. But today showed, you know, we, we have fight in us and that we want it and that we're, we can battle. And that's, that, was, that was the importance of this game today for us as a team. I think it's definitely a confidence builder, um, booster. It, it helps us move forward. It helps us see how good we can be. Um, and again, I know it's still early, but I think there's some things that we saw we do really well and some things we still need to work on. So it shows us a lot on both sides, um, and we're just going to continue to grow from it.